Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Minecraft, where today we'll be looking at the item morph mod made by... made by Flappy Guy. Yeah, fra made by Flappy Guy. Um, sorry, I'm a bit out of it today. Yeah, um... But, don't worry, I'm still good enough. I'll, I'll make it through this. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what this mod mm -hmm. is, is, um, we, we, you can morph into a, uh, item, just saplings, plants, that type of st items, and you can craft them too, which I need to switch to survival mode for that, so I can show you the recipes. Before I begin, make sure you guys like, subscribe, Hit that bell, oh, and also I got some shout outs to do. Okay, so this first shout out um goes to Iron Man one hundred eight AD. So shout out to you. And this next one goes to W K I D I F R F R. <laughs> um, hopefully I got all. Uh, Hopefully I said the name right, or at least got all of it down. <laughs> so yeah, sh also a shout out to you. And um, if you want to shout out for a few for a future video, and again, um, I'll be doing shout outs every other video. So hopefully you can understand. So yeah, um, all you have to do is comment down below, and who knows. You may be able to get a shout out. So let's begin. Also, yeah, um, another thing. Today is Minecraft birthday. Yes. 15 years of Minecraft. Yeah, since the original weeks. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, first up is the Dark Oak Morph. To craft it, you'll need Echo Orb. And one regular dark oak sapling. So yeah, <laughs> basically, uh, Minecraft's turning f 15. So yeah, was I there from the beginning? Um, no. I first started getting into Minecraft into, oh, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, you can disguise yourself. You can definitely disguise yourself. I don't think nobody you would know. I know, you know, unless... Oh, cool. That's cool, too. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, I got started um, experiencing Minecraft in, like, uh, early 2014. What day, specifically? Um... I don't really know. All I know was it was after the month of January. So early 2014, uh, after January. And I just realized something. Uh, the year is 2024. So it would have been 10 years since I first uh, started playing Minecraft. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, next up is the Torch Flower Morph. To craft it, you'll need one Torch Flower and one Echo Orb. And for the Allium Flower Morph, you'll need one Echo Orb and one Allium. So, yeah. Again, I first, like, playing Minecraft back in, uh, Back in, like, first played back in uh, 2014. Yeah, uh, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, and it, it, it was just an incredible experience. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's the, you know, torch flower morph. Okay, again, you can, uh, you know, 
yeah, you can disguise yourself. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Alright. Alright, then. There we go. Alright. And here's the alley of Flavamore. <laughs> you can't see my hand, but it's there. So, yeah, uh... There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Ten years of me since I started my Minecraft journey. And, um... And, yeah, I've... It's definitely been a lot. But totally happy with it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh... It... I... I think I just, I've only re realized that a few weeks ago, then it will we put it together. Um, why? Because, um, it's, um, let's just say, uh, these past couple of weeks have been, um, crazy for me. Uh, that's not all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, oh, hang on. There we go. Alright. So, yeah. Okay, then. So, there we go. The crafting table. Next up is a sweet berry bush morph. To craft it, you'll need one thing of sweet berries, and then an echo orb, the HG sapling morph, one HG sapling, and one echo orb and a red two up morph. One red two up and an echo orb. So oh the sweet berries. I wonder if you can hurt anybody with that them because uh here's the thing, these berry bushes sweet they can't like oh no you can't damage at the mobs oh well but yeah do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk it seen by Creeper? Oh, no way. No way he didn't notice me. No way. Okay, next up. H your sapling morph. Okay. Alright, so let's go over here. I know I'm taking a huge risk, but, um, you gotta try something. Oh, they don't see me. They, like, actually don't see me. That's crazy. Okay. So, when you morph um, into the, one of these items, you cannot see by a hostile mob. That's crazy. We can... We won't be able to get blown up by Creeper today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Alright, the red two up morph. So again, uh, here's the red two up. You no, know, you can do the high and seek, play, um, play a trick on mobs, or other players. You get the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright then. So there we go. Um, hopefully there isn't anything. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in third person view. It's a bit tri tricky to do, but, um, yeah. Alright then. So, the Echo Orbs. To craft the Echo Orbs, you need four Echo Shards and one Skulk. Now... You can't, like, do anything with these Echo Shards because they are mainly used to craft the Morph items. So, yeah. Yeah, you have to craft an item to use it to craft another item. Alright. Next up is a Cornflower. Cornflower Morph. To craft it, you need one Cornflower and one Echo Orb. For a Crimson Roots Morph, you need one Crimson Roots, one Echo Orb, 
in the oak sapling morph. You need one oak sapling and one echo orb. Wait, did I already do this one? Maybe? Uh, dark oak, and this is the regular oak. Uh, anyway, amethyst morph. Uh, one amethyst shard and one echo orb. So yeah, we are completely invisible to hostile mobs. Nobody will expect a uh, walking plant or flower or sweet berry bush. <laughs> so yeah. And the crypts and roots. Uh, okay, I know. Um, I think I stand out a bit. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. And it's this more... So, uh, so yeah, uh, if you're thinking this is a free Amethyst thing, wrong, <laughs> it's actually a living thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back wow. here. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, um, there we go. Oh, uh, here's the oak sap link, okay. There we go. Let me just go over here. Alright. Okay, then. Next up is a cherry sampling morph. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, this is... So, yeah, um... Wait, I forgot the recipes. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to show you the recipes. <laughs> Hang on. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Alright, then. For the uh, cherry sapling morph, you need one cherry sapling, one echo orb, with a rose. Do we have a with a. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, we'll skip it for now. Uh, for a crimson fungus morph, you need. One crimson fungus and one echo orb. And I'm sure we already did the poppy. No, nope. Okay. Warp fungus. Warp fungus morph to craft it. You need one warp fungus and one echo orb, and the oak sapling morph. Anyway, yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. And, you know, uh, yeah, free oak tree. Not dark oak, but regular oak. Yeah, um, this is really gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> totally gonna work. Then the warp fungus morph. But I'm pretty sure, um... I mean, as long as you're not, um, as long as you're staying in one place, I don't think anyone will suspect you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a bit of an armor bar when you equip one, one of them. Okay. So, anyway. All right. So, next three, the Width of Rose Morph. Okay. To craft the Width of Rose, you need one Echo Orb and one Width of Rose. For the Tulip Flower Morph, you need one Orange Tulip and one Echo Orb. Mm. And for a Poppy Flower Morph, you need one Echo Orb and one Poppy. And boom. Wait, with a rose. Um, I don't, I, I don't really know too much about these other than they do the nether. Um, they might give you, uh, the weather effect. Or, I don't know, probably to do something with potions. Yeah, probably something like that. Anyway, yeah, no, no one's, 
suspects a living with a rose. The true flower. Okay. All right. Again, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, cow? Uh, hello? Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. And the poppy flower. Okay. All right, then. There we go. All right. All right, then. Yeah. So let's head back over here. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, then. There we go. So the crimson fungus morph. To craft it, you need one crimson fungus and one echo orb for a brown mushroom morph, one brown mushroom and one echo orb, a blue orchard flower morph, one blue orchard and one echo orb. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, these are easily rare to find other than swamps. Yeah, if you find a swamp, then there's a good chance you'll find these anywhere else. Yeah. Crimson fungus. <laughs> yeah, uh, stand still and nobody will notice. Unless, you know, if they want to try. <laughs> and the brown mushroom. Um, uh, just don't let them mistake you for a, uh, item you can use. Oh, oh no, oh no. He's, I think he spotted me. Yeah, I think he spotted me. Well, uh, okay. Uh, what we that didn't end so badly. Now, uh. Let's see, where was I again? Okay, there it is. Alright then. Let's go over here. Alright. Oh, and the morphs apparently have, like, uh, okay. Alright then. Uh, next up is... The spruce sapling tree morph to craft it. You need one spruce sapling and one echo echo orb. <laughs> All right, here it is. All right, okay. You know, um, the, sa the sapling of a uh, what was? Spruce, spruce sapling. Okay, okay. There we go. The red mushroom. But hang on, we red, red, red mushroom now. There we go. And the dead bush. We dead bush now. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think nobody will suspect this, um, for, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alright, oh, there we go, oh yeah, well, there we go, nope, come on, <laughs> alright, alright then, so, the Oxide Daisy Morph. All right, F but first up is the mangrove purple morph. To craft it, you need one mangrove purple and one echo orb, pointed dripstone morph, one pointed dripstone and one echo orb, and the oxide daisy morph. To craft it, you need one oxide daisy and one echo orb. Okay. There we go. Oh wow. Very cool. This is very cool. 
does the creeper notice? No, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. Um, even even he even if he can't see, and then he will hear there are footsteps nearby. Okay. Um. Oh no. Uh, I think it's better not to. Uh, you know, morph in front in front of him. Yeah, he can't see me. So, um, as long as we stay still, don't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm super nervous. Okay, he's gone. Let's morph. The dripstone. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, he's right there. He's right, right there. Okay. And the pop mango pop crawl. Oh, it's this thing. It's, pop, it's from the mangrove. What? Oak, oak. Okay. Alright then. Uh, let's make this quick. Um, if that creeper comes back, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna be good. Alright, so, alright, this one is the Weary of the Fowey, Flower Morph, craft it, need one Weary of the Fowey, and one Echo Orb. For a Birch Sapling Morph, need one Birch Sapling, and one Echo Orb. For one chunk, for a jungle sapling morph, we need one jungle sapling, and one echo orb, warp roots morph, morph. You need one warp roots, and one echo orb. Okay, all right. And now we're back invisible again. Uh, hopefully that creeper has. No boot move a bit farther now. Uh, I'm just gonna check real quick. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, uh. Uh. Okay, I don't think he sees me, but, um. Okay. <laughs> nice knowing ya! Alright. Burst sapling. There we go. Alright. Let me just turn it back today. Okay. The chunk of sapling from the uh Oh so yeah, from the jungle biome. Okay, and last up is uh white roots from the nether. In one of those other biomes in the nether. Again, this is really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> okay, um. Alright, we're done here. Okay, then. Uh. You know what? I'm just gonna stay stay like this to be safe. But, um, yeah. <laughs> if you want to try this out for yourself. The link to download it will be in the link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell. And uh, one more thing. Happy birthday to Minecraft. Uh, fif fif 15 years. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Um, oh yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll see if I can put it in the video or not, or who knows. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.